This video will guide you through how to set up the right refundable security deposits for your rental orders in Bookable. There are a few ways you can set up Bookable to calculate a refundable security deposit. Security deposits in Bookable are understood to be the charges the system automatically adds to the order to be charged at the online checkout or in an in-store payment, which is refunded back to the customer when they return their items back to your store. If your business prefers to think of deposits at a portion of the order amount that is charged upfront while the remaining amount is charged later, those are called down payments in Bookable and you'll be shown how to set those up at the end of this video. The first option for setting up refundable damage deposits is charging a per product security deposit value. In the pricing panel of each of your individual products. This is great if you want to charge different security deposit costs for different products and if this method is how your rental business likes to charge deposits you can complete the following instructions. If you would like to charge security deposits in a different way also keep watching. Go to the product page where every individual product will have a security deposit field for you to fill in under the pricing panel with this product's unique damage deposit value. You can enter it in per product and hit save. If you have a large inventory, you can include each product's security deposit value in a CSV or Excel file as part of a product import when setting up your bookable account. Once saved, you will need to set the percentage of this value that is charged to the customer if this product is added to an order. To do that, click into settings and click into pricing and security deposits and make sure that product security deposit value is selected. Enter in the percentage of the price that you put in in the previous page that you want to be charged. For example, if you want to charge $49 on your dining tables and have set that as the individual product security deposit value in the previous page, set this to 100%. So 100% of that $49 is added to the order when that product is added to an order. If you only want half of that, for example, or another percentage amount, you can also enter that in here. This method means if a customer has an order of three products, each with a product security deposit value of $50, for example, the total security deposit cost will be $150 added to the overall order cost. If you want to charge security deposits by a fixed amount, no matter how much the order is, you can set that fixed amount here. This will be charged on every order, no matter how long the order is, or again, what is the overall price. If you charge the security deposits by an order amount percentage, for example, you can also set that up by clicking order amount percentage and setting the percentage value. For example, I will charge 10% of the overall order amount as the refundable damage deposit for every order. In your manual orders, whichever option you select here will be added automatically to the order as the security deposit charge. So let's go ahead and add a new order for this product. And we're just gonna place it on a one day order. And you can see the security deposit value has been set at 100% of the product value percentage. Whatever option you choose will be automatically added to the order summary, which you can charge in two ways. For processing card payments, you can either charge the customer's card and refund the amount at the end. So you can click credit card and charge the card here for the security deposit amount separate to the order amount. Or you can rather hold funds on the customer's card without charging. This is by clicking authorize. And these will be released as free funds on the customer's card when the products are returned. This way you can avoid a transaction fee for the charge and refund when processing a security deposit for an order. Now for down payments. If your business prefers to think of deposits as a portion of the order amount that is charged upfront while the remaining amount is charged later, those are called down payments in Bookable. To set those up for your online bookings, in your settings and under online reservations, click checkout and payments and checkout. To set those up for your online bookings, 
in your settings, you can, from the drop down menu here, select require percentage of the auto amount. And for example, if I wanted a 50% down payment upfront, I could use that or also click 20%. If you are only going to be taking our down payment and not having any refundable security deposits, make sure that this checkbox here is not selected. And make sure to hit save. To charge your down payment on a manual order, you can open up the payments pop up again and see for that any payment type, you can choose the exact amount that you wish to charge. So if we didn't have any security deposits, if we disable that feature and this was the overall order amount, you can change that to just take 10% up front and then the payment due button will show you the outstanding amount. If you want to go with down payments, make sure that you go into your settings and pricing and choose none as the refundable security deposit amount and you're good to go. Now it's time to process a refund or keep the security deposit depending on if the items come back damaged or not. Usually this is done at the time of return. So click into an order and click the return button. And if you want to refund the order, click return and make sure the amount under the security deposit is zero. The payment status will be updated to say process deposit and you can hit the received button to process the refund. I am registering this as a manual charge of a bank transfer that I will conduct later. So I can hit register refund of $30. And now you can see the balance is settled. We've got the refund uh, confirmed here. We've got the payment amount original that we made uh, confirmed here. And we can go ahead and archive this order when we're ready. Now on a different order, I will show you how you can keep all or a portion of the security deposit if your items come back damaged. If you want to keep the security deposit, hit return and allocate the amount that you wish to keep. So for me, I have a security deposit of $10 on this order and I want to keep all of it because my items unfortunately came back damaged. Now, as you can see, because I have kept it, I don't have to process any refund. It does not come up as a refund to be processed. I'm fully settled up here and I can archive the order whenever I'm ready. And that's a wrap. You have now successfully learned how to manage security deposits in Bookable.